Holy moly, the rate of fire of this thing is amazing. Hello, what is up guys, I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another What Am I video. What I got over here is a Diana Foam Dot Blaster. And this over here is a brushless flywheel foam dot blaster. And as you can see, the rate of fire is very insane for this blaster. And this is all thanks to Mac Potato for helping me to get this blaster for today's review. Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dot blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dot blaster. Hopefully they will be selling these very soon. And all the necessary information will be provided in the description down below. The battery compartment is located at the front of the blaster. Loosen up the screw, open the cover, and as you can see, the blaster comes with an XT30 connector. Connect the battery, and you will hear some beeping sound and the front iron side will light up. Put the battery in, close the cover, and lock it tight. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster, the aesthetic of the blaster. Amazing, it looks really nice, it looks very sleek, very beautiful, and the color scheme of this blaster is absolutely one of my favorite over here. I like the teal, I like this light grayish color over here. The entire blaster is built very solid. I mean, this thing is solid, solid. Out of the box, the blaster also comes with one of these uh, patch over here for you to, you know, stick on your vest or something like that. The entire blaster is, of course, made out of a combination of nylon and aluminum parts. That explains the weight though. The exposed flywheel cage over here, which doubles as a heat sink for the flywheel motor, as well as the barrel is made out of aluminum. The moment when you hold the blaster on hand, immediately you will felt the solidness of this blaster. The grip of the blaster is extremely comfortable. The trigger pull of this blaster is very solid, but I do hope that we can get something like a, a metal trigger or something like that because I can be pretty brutal in pulling triggers. Seriously guys, I mean, look at this magazine over here. This thing is like super solid. Oh yeah, by the way, that's a 10 round magazine, which in my opinion is a little bit less for such a high rate of fire blaster. I really do hope that this thing actually comes with something like a like a 15 round magazine or something like that. Or maybe let's make this thing talent compatible. Unfortunately, this thing is not talent compatible. The Picatinny situation of this blaster out of the box, the blaster does not come with any Picatinny rails. But just in case if you wanted Picatinny rails, there is actually holes at the bottom of the blaster just in case next time if you want to put in any Picatinny rails, yes, you can do so. And just in case if you want to put in something like a reflex side of some sort, at the top of the blaster, the blaster also comes with a pre-installed IMR attachment holes over here. Just in case you want to put in like a IMR side. But if you don't want to use any of those side, the blaster also comes with a pair of pretty accurate iron side. And here comes the quirks. Uh, the blaster does not really come with any fiber optic iron side, but it comes with an illuminated iron side, which doubles as a battery indicator, which I like. The front side over here will glow green, indicate that you powered up the blaster, and it will start to blink if you have any battery issue or battery compatibility issue, in which it will blink violently. And now let us talk about the firing mode and certain settings for this blaster. First of all, the blaster comes with two modes. Of course, we got the normal mode as well as the high Mode. At the left hand side of the blaster, as you can see, if we actually push this button over here towards the front, it will activate the normal mode, in which it will behave like any other pre revving flywheel blaster. <laughs> A little bit something like that. And of course, by pulling this lever towards the bottom, it will activate the hyper mode, which it will slow rev the motor all the time, which in theory, it will allow the motor to reach quicker speed the moment when you pull the trigger. And now let us talk about the firing mode. At the uh, right hand side over here, we of course, we got the uh, fire selecting switch. This blaster actually comes with two firing mode. We got the single fire and of course, full auto. Oh yeah! By the way, after prolonged usage, the heat sink over here will actually get pretty hard to touch. So yep, I guess that's all of the quirks and features of this blaster. So without further ado, let us go test the blaster out.
Okay, okay, we are back guys, so the performance of the blaster is actually not bad. In normal mode, the blaster can actually shoot from 114 FPS all the way to 122 FPS, which is pretty decent. In hyper mode, the blaster can shoot from 120 FPS all the way to 127 FPS, and it is pretty consistent too. So in theory, by turning on the hyper mode, you will get more consistent numbers and of course more consistent performance, but there is actually some downfall, it will drain the battery a lot faster and of course heat up the heat sink over here a lot faster too. The accuracy in 8 to 10 meters, pretty good as well. Hitting a target in 8 to 10 meters is not too much of a problem and of course so far operating this blaster I did not encounter any jams at all which is a good thing. The only complaints that I have over here is of course the magazine capacity. This thing is just too little for such a high performance beast. In full auto, this blaster actually empty out the entire mag in one second. I mean in the heats of battle, empty emptying a mech in one second that's a pretty bad news though. Hopefully in the future we will have a higher capacity magazine for this blaster over here. And of course, last but not least, does this blaster passes the wall test? And the answer is a big fat yes. This blaster definitely passes the wall test. The color scheme of this blaster is very nice. There is actually rumors that we are going to have a lot of uh, carbine attachment for this blaster over here, which I'm pretty stoked to get my hands on. But seriously, overall, I'm really happy with this blaster over here. So yeah, I guess that's all for today guys. If you guys like this video, feel free to smash the like button. I will be posting video on on every Saturday and once in a while on Wednesday. So do remember to click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So yep, go to check it out and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Adios, guys.